G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here and welcome to the second vlog of this week, the week that was, and a bit of a change here down at Margate. And right in the heart here, it's actually high tide now. So down here just checking out and we've got a couple of holiday lets in the area. And oh the sun's coming out, it's a nice day down here. So you have the centre of London there. That's the M25, which runs there. You literally down the A2 onto the M2, and then break off onto the A229, and you got Margate there and Broadstairs there. So from Margate and Broadstairs to the M25, Junction 2 is about 60 minutes to drive, or you can get some of the trains, which will go down about 80, 85 minutes. So a great little spot for a weekend getaway or a week as you can be out of London and down there hour and 15, hour and a half and you're at the beach. So you don't waste a whole bunch of travelling time but you're able to get down and sand between your toes and kick back and relax. The train station is just over there, it's like a 10, 10 minute walk and then you've got like Dreamland there, lots of shops and everything, uh, lots of places to eat and then we actually have holiday let just up there so it's great all time of the year you can just sit up there watch the view and then down on the main you got the Turner Museum there White House a couple of little micro pubs and things over there and then you've got the main old town just behind all these buildings here in the high streets the next street over there so it's a great little spot just down here doing a little bit of maintenance as you can imagine recently uh, basically the business has been pretty much crushed because nobody's going on holidays hopefully in the next couple of weeks that might change which would be great because the last couple of years Margate in particular they've really got a lot of nice great restaurants and bars and pubs and things and the area really needed it these days it lives off a lot of the tourism and then also this week gonna have the first live stream actually gonna be streaming from down here do something a little bit special just so it's gonna have a really nice backdrop gonna have a few guests on for that guests we're hoping to have on will be Kevin Hinkle, Kaz Mockett, Lamborghini Waffle Sauce, Sarah Starbricks and Nathan Diaz so some great people in the Lego community so it'll be Friday night 8 o'clock UK time that's GMT one hour which will probably be about 5 p.m. in America, Eastern Standard Time. So we'll go inside and check out the flat, and then we'll go over to Broadstairs and check that one out as well. And then inside the flat, you got a 180 degree view out over most things. It's high tide at the moment. When it's low tide, the water goes out past the breakers. And then, so this is the lounge room. It's great, because then in winter, even when it's cold or any time of year, just sit here, look at that view and yeah watch tv if you wanted to again playstation all sorts of lego games and quickly come through full kitchen there everything you need this is a two bedroom then we have the uh, bathroom full bathtub and a toilet over there and then you come into the two bedrooms at the back Good size master. Another TV up there. And then in here, the second bedroom. And a Lego wall. And you can see that's uh, something which the last guest has made. And down in here, look at all the Lego drawers, all sorts of different bits and pieces. People really enjoy that. Yeah, some Lego lights. And another TV and put the PlayStation have the kids in here. A lot of the businesses have switched over to doing takeaway offerings, putting up signs for social distancing and barricades to help flow through shops and out the front. Beach gear and knick-knack shops are opening up. Lifesavers are down on the beach and being active and patrolling. Just trying to adjust and be ready for when tourism gets the green light. More outdoor spaces that can handle social distancing. Your cafes, restaurants, fish and chip takeaways, pubs, all those sorts of things. And here we are in Broadstairs, the main beach, Viking Bay, the main lot of shops there, great little ice cream place, Morelli's. And we have our flat just there. It's a great little spot to watch everything. Looks like a gorgeous day down here. And everything in the town is really close. You've got most of the main shops and pubs and everything just there. And then 
about 10 minutes walk that way is Broadstairs train station. And here we are, this is a view from the couch. First story, everything close and accessible. So this is the view from the master bedroom. So the master bedroom, really good size. There, has its own ensuite. Nice, shower, toilet, all that sort of stuff. Go through, it's a three bedroom. Let's go into bedroom three. Kids room, sort of double bike, bus bed, which everyone loves. Kids love just climbing on that, sleeping on it, jumping all over it. View from there. And then if we go into the third bedroom, Again, or another really good size. It's a super king, or can be split into two separate singles. Main bathroom, full size tub, so great for families. Having a wash off to the beach, and then saw your kitchen diner lounge. It sleeps eight, so great for yeah. grandparents, parents, and kids, or two sisters and their families, and the kids and the cousins. Again, the view from the couch there enjoy that uh, PlayStation video games movies all down in there as well 48 I think 42 inch screen and then full kitchen here as well main beach in Broadstairs which is Viking Bay which is literally across the road from the flat and you see they're getting all the rides and trampolines set up for a tourist season and the channel hit a milestone during the week, hitting the 300 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. And it was jumping up and down between, or yo-yoing between 299 and 300 subscribers for a little bit. So good now that we're actually over that and past that. Thanks to everybody who watches and who comments. I try to respond to every comment that anybody leaves there. Really do appreciate all the support and being a little bit analytical. Maybe spend a little bit too much time watching the analytics. Uh, but I have noticed that the people who are subscribed are watching more and more of the content, which is great. So thank you very much. Really appreciate it. I recently released a video about Lego stores reopening and my thoughts on it. See link around the video. It seems to have struck a chord with people and very polarizing, as you can see from the comments in this video. Everything from how dare you be negative right through to totally agree and having the same experience. My concern is you have Lego shops in premium retail space that have been closed for three months. You've removed the key experience from it, discouraging top customers from coming into the store. Online from other retails, Lego has always been cheaper and the experience was a differentiating factor. There are ways to bring that experience back in a curtailed fashion and suggest these in the video. Lego is a numbers company and won't continue to bleed retail money and would be financially responsible to consolidate and or close stores, which we don't want to see, when a key tweak might make a huge difference to the bottom line. I don't know if people sound off after watching the first 30 seconds of the video or just keep thinking Lego will keep losing money in a retail space to maintain a presence, which I just don't see as viable. I think it's good to have the conversation around this, so interested in people's comments. Live streaming with London Bridge Bricks and this is what it looked like from the other side of the camera. Got all the markers and things all set up, so I quickly grab colours and do whatever I need with that lot. Okay, just had the stream with London Bridge Bricks tonight. Originally I was going to draw some 2x4 bricks for some artwork for my own promotional sort of stuff, but just started drawing and doing some little gags and things like that, so um, just had some fun with that. These drawings, I think I did about 30, and it was basically just whatever the conversation was, doing like quick 30 second little gags and things, so, you know, talking about something at some stage, I can't remember what it was now. Um, Lego Batman or something like that, so like a crazy joker, and then just sort of looking at in terms of as adults playing with Lego, like a Boba Fett slave one, and you know, swooshing around, pew pew pew, sort of idea. The joker just sort of looking at it and going, Oh, and they think I'm crazy. Um, so the top couple are probably some of my favorites. I'm gonna go through them all, I'll probably end up on Instagram or something. Uh, one of the guys does a lot of work in a van, which might need a bit of a wash, and then Mario. Be able to afford all the Lego Mario, you're gonna need some little barrows of cash. Then we've got talking about uh, one of the guys who can doesn't really drive or anything like that, so just combining it with another joke that there's a recently a Lego Ducati model, um, which is all good apart from the seats underdone, so just riffing off that. And then Yoda 
Um, talking about a Christmas special which people try to block out of their minds. And then if you've ever noticed with Gizmo from Gremlins, his design is very, very close to Baby Yoda. It's sort of almost like, you know, the big eyes, the big ears, the round head, the nose shape and that. And on they go. There's just so many of them. So I think it was received well. The people in the comments seem to be having a good little chuckle and laugh. And I think the guys on the stream, they're quite cool and they're able to, you know, make fun of themselves and have a good laugh and everything like that. So didn't really plan it, but it organically happened. And it just reminded me of, there was a variety show in Australia years ago called Hey Hey It's Saturday. And they used to have a cartoonist on that who would just be doing gags as they're going off live. So just felt like it's channeling that a little bit and it was fun and made me do it again sometime. Just by the end of it, as you're constantly drawing and trying to be quick and come up with ideas and things like that, you do feel a bit exhausted by the end of it. Hopefully if anybody's in the chat during the live stream and they saw it, love to know the feedback on it. And uh, if it's all good, might try to do it again at some stage in the future. Pick them. This looks ready. This should have been picked two days ago. So Father's Day in the UK, and this is my haul from it. So anyone would think I might like Lego. These are um, chocolate molded Lego bricks and pieces from uh, somebody who I believe is just starting to do these sorts of things. Uh, some great cars from the boys and everything. Stormtroopers from the little troopers and some cards and a t-shirt Which I think actually might be the first Lego t-shirt I've got so I do admit that hope everyone had a great Father's Day a Pirate treasure hunt What do you got there? I think it's some sort of bubble maker Bit of a garden update as you can see there cauliflowers coming through a little bit that one there and that one I don't think is doing anything yet and then there's in there a purple one over here some of the broad beans are really starting to come in a huge bean there and then on this one here some coming off there I think lettuce 
might be overdone. And some more beans. And the lettuce is getting eaten. Blueberries in the last week have really started to ripen up. It's always interesting because you get some of them ripening at very different speeds to the others. That's it for vlog number two. Just that government confirmation, holiday lets, vacation rentals, short-term lets can open in under two weeks' time on July 4th, which is great news. Be sure to join us for the first Family Bricks live stream this Friday, June 26th, 8 p.m. UK time, 5 p.m. USA Eastern, and 5 a.m. Australian time. Here are some other videos you might be interested in. Until next time, when we talk about all things LEGO and lifestyle.